It's called a proper pulley. Okay. What this does is when you're building pulley rigs, if you're using a swivel, it puts an awful amount of load on the body of the rig where it kinks. Do you get me? In fact, it will reduce the braking strain by 50%. So if you've got a 100, 100 pound line, you're going up to a swivel and then back down again. During the cast, that swivel point is reduced to 50%. It's 50 pound line. You can break it with a six ounce sinker on a good panel cast. This unit here, it's called a proper pulley. It, gives, it takes a nice angle to the line. And it eliminates that. So you hook this onto your swivel that's on your uh, shock leader coming through. And the line goes up through there and it's got this nice PTFE shaft inside that it goes round, so, it's, so it does it totally eliminates kink and reduces the stress at that point. They're called a proper pulley. Here's a nice little uh, thing that Breakaway England have brought out. This is on the same concept as our adjustable crimps. Adjustable crimps, I think, are the best thing for a rig maker, that our uh, Davis crimp, because up until we actually got the adjustable crimp, making a double dropper rig was very, very technical, which would clip down because your measurement had to be absolutely perfect. Hold that. <laughs> the measurement. Yeah, that's not good. I'm not good at that, am I? <laughs> Well, I have a lot of trouble with that too, so it's okay. Well, there was a funny thing happened to me this year. I was working on houses with Ralph. And uh, we, whenever I was work, me and Ralph did all the up work. So we had to do all the ceilings and stuff like that. And Ralph was always like my pet monkey, I'd call him, because he'd always haul ass and get whatever I want. But I'd be working on something, I'd take the measurement to that lamp, I'd take the board, take it, take it down on what you call it, cut the hole in the stuff I had to put up and cut it to size perfect. I'd get up there and the bastard was always wrong. I could not figure out what was happening. My brain was reversing the number. So if it was 34, I was cutting at 43. I don't know why it did it. <laughs> but once we figured out that it did it, it was hilarious. But, I mean... Is that a dollar? Did you have this what do I have? I have this graphic. I've got a freaking clue. I can't see it. The selection. You notice how good it smells in here? We worked all afternoon yesterday getting that lively smell out of here. <laughs> Just a touch. There. Yeah, do you want me to show you how that works? Once we come up with that adjustable crimp, it really made, you can do some amazing things. Even running rigs, everything else. Hold that tight now. This crimp has got resistance here. Okay, so that there is adjustable. What we do is we fill that crimp with silicone, surgical silicone, as costly as hell. Fill the crimp, and then by adjusting the tension on it, you can decide where you want to set this. This allows this leader length here not to be as critical as it used to be when we try to make double droppers pre this invention, right? This pump rig simply kick ass. I mean, there's nothing we, uh, we can, they're just the best, I think, I really do. Double rig, you can throw extreme distance, There. So it's beautifully streamlined. What I do is I put the bigger part of the shrimp here and the smaller bit here if I'm putting a, two bits of bait on and a, and a fish bite. That allows you to get extreme distance. As soon as that hits, she fires off. That would normally do that. When you bring it in, this sometimes hold tight out will be down here because it's fought its way short. You just have to restrain it out. But that Davis crimp really opened up 
a new market for us. The, the, uh, there's a certain time of year we get here when them red fish are running through. It was very short lived, but it did happen for a while there. And they'd be following the mullet south. And it was like a few years ago I realised that they weren't taking live mullet. Well, you could throw a live mullet out there, it wouldn't touch the damn thing, right? What it would do, if you put a little, and it was Brenda one day, we, she had a tiny little bit of mullet, and she was putting it out there and nailing them redfish. One, and every redfish we caught, and there were millions of redfish everywhere, was empty inside, millions of mullet inside. So it, it was like they were just picking up these small little morsels everywhere, right? And then there was a gentleman living on the beach end called Hardhead, you'll remember him, and his wife, and he was fishing like three rigs, three hooked rigs, and catching a yang out. So we, so I thought about it, about these live baits, and I stopped using them and just went for small uh, baits for two of them. So I come up with this rig. We call this the Siamese Nano. Billy told me to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> Siamese. Nano being small, yep. right? <laughs> Siamese meaning they go together. Yes, I got that. Right, so you've got a short rig, which is you can throw one of these extreme distance because it's got a nice short, everything's up behind the sink. It makes a hell of a difference. And that's got the sliding crimp on it also? Yes. Any rig I think we make now has got that sliding crimp. How come you never told me about them? I, I try to keep stuff secret. Yeah. I want to say you that yeah. back to the top, he's got 30. <laughs> so, yeah, just tighten her up the shape. That goes there. So that's single rigged. But when they're really running, you can actually take this rig and attach it to here. Now you can put two good blood baits at extreme distance. Just hold that. So by making your rig short, you can actually double it up. You can treble it up if you wished. I don't know at what point it becomes illegal, but now you've got, you can put two blood baits out at long distance. This one will fire off, and that one will fire off. Right? Or you can use it as a single. So that's what's a the Siamese nano is to join the two together, nano being a short drop.